Now let's move on to the next part that is allylic bromination. We already know that allylic carbon it is basically uh, I mean a double bonded carbon when it is attached to sp3 okay sp3 carbon on an sp2 carbon that is allylic carbon. So the hydrogen on it it could be ally this is basically allylic hydrogen okay. So let us take a very simple example of cyclohexene. So this is cyclohexene. So this is the double bond that means it is sp2 carbon and if you could see this is again a saturated sp3 carbon. So the height this is basically allylic carbon. So I would draw the structure again. So this is vinyl and carbon atom attached to vinylic carbon. Again there are two hydrogens over here. So these are basically allylic hydrogens. So now we are going to study allylic bromination using a very important reagent. So we are going to use something what you call it as NBS which is N bromo succinamide. Succinic acid is basically a carboxylic acid, dicarboxylic acid. So its imide is going to be succinamide. So the structure of succinamide is basically something like this. You have a double bond O, double bond O, CH2COOH, CH2COOH, this is succinic acid and to this we react it with a base and then replace the hydrogen of the base by bromine. So this is n bromo succinamide. Now what exactly happens? So in this case uh, when you have an allylic hydrogen present, so n bromo succinamide removes the hydrogen and puts the Br. So you have this is the allylic carbon. So this allylic carbon's hydrogen is basically brominated. So you have this what you call it as allyl, allylic bromination using n bromo succinamide. Okay, so instead of n bromo succinamide, you could even have n chloro succinamide. The most important um, aspect of this reagent is that it undergoes only allylic bromination. So, uh, this was about allylic bromination. Now, let us say if you have something like a benzene ring. So, this is the benzene ring. Now, this is the sp2 carbon. Let us say on which on this sp2 carbon, I am going to have an sp3 carbon and this has a hydrogen. So when this is treated with NBS, now in this case it is not allyl, it is basically benzyl. So this would undergo a benzylic bromination and we would get a very very simple product. So I am going to write it here. So these are the double bonds which are intact and then there is the CH2. CH3 is basically converts to CH2 and then you have Br. This is benzyl bromide. Okay, so this was about the allylic bromination using NBS that is N bromo succinamide.